Hey guys, are you ready for another episode of As the Stomach Turns? You gotta be an old dude to understand that. All right, anyways, up top, this is a recording. My letterhead, these are the breadcrumbs. You wanna get in touch with me? Take a screenshot. All right, now we're going to get to the program here. With no further ado, I heard that somewhere before. The subject is the lathe burnishing tool. All right? See that name there? Doug Perfetti? He pulled another rabbit out of a hat today. All right? He does that on a routine basis. Here's the subject. Doug was testing... 6013. Don't worry, that's not a mistake. We have 6061 coming up. Doug's got four of them he's testing today. This is the first one. These are the results of the first one he tested. All right? All right, I'm going to bring this up. All right. Now pay attention. It's going to be a quiz later. All right? You look here, top left. It says, feed rate, two thousandths of an inch per revolution. That's for turning and burnishing. I may repeat this, but I don't give a rat's ass. I want you to understand. Now you go to the right. The turn diameter is one inch on the money. All right? The burnish diameter after burnishing is minus three tenths of a thousand. Now you go uh, top right, it says burnishing. Two passes. Two passes. What's two passes mean? I'm going to show you. All right, hang on. Let me blow this sucker up. Before we get to the two passes, I'm going to lay this on you. All right? One of the major questions was, how hard do you push on that ball? Right? All right. You see that red circle? That's the ball, the carbide ball. See, I got a sign beside it, carbide ball. You see the arrows? Obviously, that's the direction it's going to go in. All right? So here's what you do. You gently put the ball up against the turn diameter, and you put your finger on the ball bearing, and you dial it in, you, di you push against the ball against it until that ball bearing starts to revolve. At that point, you hit the zero on your DRO. You see it says DRO 15 thousandths, right? What you're going to do is you're going to dial your DRO in 15 thousandths, obviously, when this ball is off the piece. If you don't have a DRO and you're only using a 1,000 dial indicator, you dial in half of that, seven and a half thousand. You see it? All right. Now the ball is off the piece, right? You're going to put the feed on, the power feed, which is... Two thousands per revolution. See, I'm, I'm a pain in the ass. All right. So what you do, you're going to go from right to left with the feed. All right. All right. You, you set your feed rate at two thousands per revolution, and, and you let it feed to your destination. See where the mouse is, right? At that point, you stop. You change the direction, the feed direction, you know, on your lathe, and it comes out at two thousandths per revolution. When it's out, you are done, right? Hang on now, let me put this back. So at that point, all right, now let, let me elaborate here. Well, let me get this up a little bigger again. You're going to turn at 385 RPMs, and obviously you're going to burnish at a faster speed at 510. All right? See, below what I got, oh, Jesus Christ, this thing's not stable. Either am I. 
See, it says turning feed rate, 2000s per revolution. Is there an echo here? I already said that. Burnishing feed, 2000s of an inch per revolution. And look at that red border around those texts. It says use light oil. We're only talking about a few drops on the shaft and a few drops on the ball. You don't have to saturate the thing with buckets of shit. Let me go back now. So as far as I'm concerned, that's the, that's the magic, right? So old Doug, I, we can predict what's going on now. We're getting good at it, all right? Now, do me and yourself a favor. Make a comment. I don't care how insignificant it is. It might be important. Or just tell me I eat kitty liver. I don't give a rat's ass. Do something. Anyways, uh, I want to give a, a big attaboy to Doug. All right? Attaboy, Doug, baby. Okay, you guys. Thanks for watching.